There we go. 090G muffler. Before I hit the sandblaster, I'll get out some of that carbon, really clean it out, especially if I got to get inside here. Purple power. Should be running at about 180, 220 degrees. Hey, GG. Hey. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's take her for a ride, see how she goes. Bye bye. Real slow process of getting this uh, 090G muffler back together. Just videotape, videotaping it step by step. Some designs on how I'm going to make the new louver. I don't know yet. Exhaust port. What I'm actually going to end up with, I'm fine. <clears throat> well, after putting in the ultrasonic cleaner for a couple hours, I found a couple more holes, but nothing... Uh, Detrimental. There's some gray down in the back side here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. All my 090G mufflers that were original were black. The only ones I had that were ever silver were on a Contra GS or Contra G. But who knows? Maybe it was paint silver and then black, and then that's what I'm looking at, but. I don't know. <clears throat> Doesn't matter, they're the same muffler anyways. The early 090 or Contra G and Contra GS's, the early ones had a solid cast aluminum muffler and those look really cool. That's another video. Let's get back to this. Here's a template I'm going to make. A little cut out there. It'll fit in there really well once it's all together. This is the plate I got to replace here. I'll heat it up. It'll go on there real nice. Let's see the actual damage. That's the actual template I'm going to use. Here we are. Took out all the bad metal. A little sloppy there, I'll straighten that out. Two arrows here. That's for the front here, this slide piece here. I'll show you that in a second. Old furnace weld there, and there's another one here. There was a front damper. All it did was kind of shield this, so this wasn't pouring directly out. When I make my louvers, I'm going to put them back in there, so it's going to do the same thing. I had to rip out all that, which is what you see there, just so I could clean up the steel. I'm all down to good metal to weld against. I'll try to show you the inside of this muffler here. Cylinder, this is how it's oriented on the saw, the exhaust. The exhaust comes in here, it goes on a slight upward angle as you can see. It's almost like a trough. There, coming from the cylinder, and it comes up into this trough. There's a furnace weld, which is really hard to see right at the front of that trough there. So when I make the uh, new louver, probably going to be pipes like you see a lot of the guys selling the ported mufflers on eBay. I'm going to do something similar to that, or try to. We'll see how it works out and what I end up with once I fix this. Again, just going real slow here. Pick up some speed once I start brazing. There's guys out there making pipe saws. This is probably an easy fix for them. I'm going real slow, so I've got a chance to take time to videotape it. Tomorrow I'll sandblast it. It's spent a couple hours in the ultrasonic cleaner. I'll sandblast it. I can get inside now. Hopefully I don't find any more holes or any more weak spots. If I do, I'll get those cleaned up and 
I'm not going to videotape all the brazen, but I'll show you a couple ways to go about these holes. Here's that ding in there. I drilled a hole. I'll heat it up, straighten it out, and fill that in. Since I'm going to be brazing everything in, there'll be some grinding and sanding on it. Just try to clean it up, make it solid, most importantly, functional and uh, Hopefully be able to make that look something something cool.